The power of sports is the ability to bring two people or two families together from different walks of life. And it can be from something as simple as a piece of headwear. Thousands of people come together here on Saturdays in the fall. And for a few hours, they become family. Steve Wall has a permanent spot in the north end zone. I started watching the Grizz, you know, um, the Bobcat Grizz game is where I really got involved back when Rocky Cleaver, Guy Bingham, those guys were playing. But he never thought a hat left at Big Fork High would change his Saturdays forever. I noticed this Grizz hat sitting over by the doors as you go into the gymnasium. I thought, man, that's a good looking hat. I looked at it and I picked it up. And when I picked it up, I saw a note and the note looked like a little third grade kid had wrote a little heart on it, like a little love note. The note was paper clipped to the side of the brim of the hat. And when I uh, took those paper clips off and I took the note and the first thing I read was, this hat is not lost. But the man who wore it is gone. Clint Collins grew up in Big Fork. He loved the Grizz and for three decades had seats to every game just opposite of Steve. He uh, would get a new Grizz hat almost every year. It was just something he had to do, you know. Till the last couple of years he didn't because he couldn't go shopping. So he didn't trust me to pick out his hats for him. So <laughs> Clint passed away last November while watching the Idaho game. But there was no memorial. His family had a different idea. We decided as a family to just go into Big Fork and we went to all the special places, you know, place he met my mom, uh, the house he grew up in. We went and visited the high school. It was my idea to spread out the hats, but it was my daughter Susie's idea to put the notes in the hats. And then it was my granddaughter Tiffany who decided to that we should do the hashtag uh, Clint Collins on there. Four hats at four of the most important places in Clint's life. The house where he was born on Electric Avenue. The Big Fork Inn where he met his wife. Helena Flats High School where the gym bears his name. And the last hat at Big Fork High School. Oh boy, um, I could tell it was gonna be a tearjerker, you know, right from the get go and I was like, I had to take a little bit and to finish reading it, and then like I immediately called for for Ellie, and I thought, uh, wow, it just it brought back memories of uh, of my dad. Steve's wife Ellie took the story to Facebook. Within days, the story had been shared 1,300 times. I didn't have any idea that it was just going to go so viral. Uh, my hopes were that it would reach Susie and her family, because um, just as a tribute to her dad. We never thought, you know, anything would come of this. How many people walked by that hat? Um, just thinking, oh, you know, whatever. And, and uh, you know, if, if we wouldn't have picked it up, you know, I mean, who knows what if. Um, it, was, uh, it was a pretty neat deal, and I'm glad to be a part of it. The perfect fit, clearly. The perfect person found it. And maybe, if you look towards the north end zone, you'll spot Steve at the next home game carrying a part of Clint's legacy. In Big Fork, Kevin Levine, NBC Montana. Steve says the hat has brought him good luck ever since he put it on, and the Collins and Wall family plan to meet up in the first week of September at the Montana Grizzlies home opener.